Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, I hope you're doing well. It's been a little while since we talked about Kazoo, hasn't it? And there's been more news on that front, so I thought we'd have a little chat about it, see what's going on, find out how the hell it's still running, even though it's now just a used car marketplace. We haven't even looked at that yet, so we'll check that out, talk about it, find out what's going on, and give you my probably quite predictable views on Kazoo. So if you haven't seen either of my two previous videos, I'll link them in the description, Toby will put them on the screen. Uh, one where I kind of predicted that Kazoo was, you know, going into liquidation or making a big change. And I said it couldn't carry on operating the way it was because it just didn't make sense. It just didn't add up. There's just no way they could keep funneling money into this losing thing that really didn't have a great business model. Follow up video was when they announced the fact that they're not going to sell cars anymore, despite saying that they were so much better than everyone else in the used car market. The used car dealer kind of network was outdated, antiquated, and a bunch of sharp elbowed salesmen, and they were the ways to go. Uh, turns out they couldn't do it. So then they were going to be an advertising platform that wanted to be a strong number two to Auto Trader. And I think it probably is a big steaming number two. Since then, obviously, they've made massive redundancies. They've stopped selling cars. They're winding that down and trying to build this up as, you know, an online marketplace. And in the last video, I did kind of say that I couldn't really see this working either. They've slagged off the entire motor industry and now they want us to pay them to advertise stuff there. I can't really see it working. I thought the only way it would work is if they were doing it for free. Um, and then I still didn't see that people would go there over Auto Trader. So... Let's have a look at what their website actually looks like now. So we've got a few different cars. I did notice at one point something popped up a little while after they announced that they were going to start selling other people's cars. And uh, they obviously did a deal with Motors uh, and a few other people. And like number one car on their page was a car that was like missing its bumper and, you know, had the front end missing. It just looked ridiculous. There's this billion pound so-called business and the first car on the thing didn't have a bumper on it. So the first car's on the page now as a 2014 Peugeot 107 on 32,000 miles, a Vauxhall Corsa SE 2013 on 32,000 miles. Um, I don't know how far we have to go through. There's a lot of cars are, who I hadn't heard of before I saw them on here, but we've got cars are, Stoneacre Motor Group. Um, they seem to make up an awful lot of who's on here. Again, Stoneacre, Hippo, some very nice Aston Martins. I must have gone to like cheapest to most expensive because I went to the last page. I don't really like the system either. In fact, when it I first looked here and found that car with a bumper hanging off and I was like, okay, I assume it's all kind of dedicated to or tailored to being a delivery only service like Kazoo used to be. You couldn't go and review the car and test drive it because you can't, or at least you couldn't, or you can, you can now. There wasn't a location section before, so you couldn't search for a car locally to you so that you could find it, see if you wanted it, uh, or it met your criteria, and then go and view it. It just didn't have that option. It was just search for the car that you want. That's great if you know exactly what kind of car you want, but I think a lot of buyers don't. They're like, I want a smallish car. I want to see what's, let me just see what's within 20 miles of me and I'll scroll through until I see something I like the look of, and then I might start investigating that model. I think that's how a lot of people start their car search. They don't necessarily know exactly what car they want, unless they've been recommended one, or they've tried something else, or they're looking for a replacement. They're just a bit like, what's around and close to me? There's not too much of an inconvenience for me to go and look at and actually see whether I actually really do like it in the flesh. It's good that they've now done this, so can, where can we look that would be local to us? Can we do, well, we've got Taunton, which is close to us. Let's see what we've got in Taunton. So these are two from Motors, all five from Motors, two from Taunton Road Car Centre, which is in Bridgewater actually. Yeah, I did wonder for a minute because I have got an eBay Motors Group package. I think it's just Motors now, whether any of my cars were on here. Uh, at the time, they weren't, but let's just double check. There isn't a Burnham on C section on here. So look at Bristol because I wanted to just kind of do like a nearest first search because frankly, I wouldn't have been that chuffed about them being on there because, you know, I'm not behind Kazoo. I don't really want my stuff on there. It's not a brand that, you know, I want to be associated with. 
but it seems like all we can do is narrow down to Bristol. It doesn't really help me very much. There's an awful lot on here from car base. And seemingly, you can't narrow it down much more than that. So that's quite annoying. So anyway, that is the website. That's how it looks. It's pretty nondescript, isn't it? It's not really eye-catching. Should we just have a quick look at Auto Trader to see how vastly better that is? Brighter, you've actually got pictures of cars on there. You've got all the search functions you could want. Like literally, here is the postcode for Barrow Motors. I can go within one mile. Oh, apparently, oh there's no Aston Martins. <laughs> you would just want any car. And it's gonna come up with 30, which will be mine. Look at those beauties. If you wanna check those out, you can find them on barrowmotors.co.uk. I just think that's a much brighter, more user-friendly looking website. You got the kind of pictures inviting you in, it's rich. Whereas, what's this? This looks like someone's made it on GoDaddy or Wix or whatever, and they're not very good at building websites. It looks rubbish, doesn't it? Does it get any better on the other pages? Explore car finance. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty nondescript and unremarkable. So the reason we're here, and I'm making this video anyway, is because there's been a new article by Car Dealer Magazine about an announcement that's come from Kazoo, which, once again, it's not the first time, they admit they might go into administration, despite the fact that they've moved away from selling cars, which they were going to be so much better than all the used car dealers at, uh, to just advertising them. But even then, as I said earlier in the video, I didn't see how they were really going to make money out of that. They're going to need quite a lot of money quite quickly because they were burning through cash you know, very quickly. They're going to have to asset strip, get rid of all the uh, dealerships and everything, which someone in one of the comments did say they'd actually sold all that off previously to try and raise cash. So they were now renting them rather than owning all of these dealerships. But obviously they wanted to get rid of all the cars. They were going to sell those off, which I'm sure they have been sending an awful lot to auction, no doubt, and probably taking a loss. But they still need cash just to operate and they don't have enough. So we'll have a look at the article anyway. Bombshell Kazoo statement admits failed used car dealer may tumble into administration. Kazoo issues start warning about its future in shock announcement. Bosses refuse to rule out administration or winding up the firm. Kazoo needs to raise additional capital but currently has no offers on the table. Shocker. Outfit is also late in publishing its 2023 accounts, placing it in breach of stock exchange rules. Oh dear, what on earth are they playing at? I wonder how much that affects people trading in it if they haven't done their accounts. Because I did sign up to some kind of trading platform just to try and short their stock, but for some reason, I actually couldn't get it across the line. Perhaps I just couldn't figure out how to use the app. But either way, I wanted to put 500 quid in a short position against Kazoo because I couldn't see their stock going anyway, but down as a general trend. Um, but then if they go into liquidation, you kind of get cut off. You don't really necessarily get where the value is when it gets cut off. You go back, in my experience, from having shorted Debenhams when that was going out of business. But that's here and all there. Maybe the article will tell us. In a bombshell announcement to the New York Stock Exchange late last night, May the 1st, Kazoo said it had failed to secure any new funding for the struggling business. Kazoo said it had been looking for offers for the business as well as strategic alternatives all of which have failed. Now the listed business has admitted that without access to significant strategic alternatives or outside capital, it is reasonably likely that the company will need to file for administration or liquidation. Kazoo said, we would then consider the best option to the company at that time. The options may include filing for administration or winding up the company. The announcement also included news that Kazoo had missed the deadline for reporting its 2023 account because of pressures on management and that Paul Wolf, CFO, has now left the business. Like rats jumping from the sinking ship. Founder Alex Chesterman and former CEO Paul Whitehead have also left the business in the last few months. The New York Stock Exchange statement also admits that Kazoo currently has no offers to help and that the medium to long-term future of the company is unclear. Cardi reported last week that the new digital service is now up and running, but that does not seem to have done anything to ease Kazoo's financial woes. In the filings, Kazoo admitted that its cash burn has now eased and it expects to reduce its outlay from 25 to 30 million pounds a quarter to six to seven pounds a quarter from July. These savings have been made after drastic cuts to its operations and huge swathes of redundancies. Following the announcement, Kazoo stock price tumbled more than 11%. The Kazoo statement said, notwithstanding our pivot into a marketplace model and the various asset disposals, 
we still need to raise additional capital in the future in order to continue as a going concern in the medium to long term. We currently have no offers to provide outside capital or otherwise to address this need. We have been pursuing strategic alternatives for the business or parts thereof. And while we have received interest for the parts of the company's business and assets, we have not received any offers that would, if consummated, enable the company to continue as a going concern in the medium to long term. According to absent an agreement with respect to a significant strategic alternative or outside capital, it is reasonably likely that certain of the company's operating subsidiaries would need to file for administration or liquidation, and we would then consider the best options for the company at that time. The options may include filing for administration or winding up the company. I hate to say I told you so, but it just just didn't make sense. Um, I wonder if there's going to be some kind of investigation in this. I think this is, you know, it's going to go under who in their right mind would invest more money into this company at this point. I know, you know, people can be foolish with huge amounts of money because it's not their money and they're, you know, kind of dealing with hedge funds and they think, oh, we'll stick some money in there because the potential returns could be huge and that's a risk I'm willing to make with my client's money. Strange things like that do happen, but I, yeah, I mean, this is going under pretty quick, I think. You know, it's a real flash in the pan. It's been around for about four years rose up to this heady heights of all these vehicles, all these sites, everything flashy, spending money like there's no tomorrow, and then it's just dwindling down, having to get rid of everything again, making massive losses. Um, it feels like, you know, it's just all, it's all been like a big pantomime, really. You know, a big fugazi, they've just made it look amazing. Come on, get your money in, look what you're missing out on, look how great it all looks, look how well we're doing. Yeah, we're not making any money at the moment, but can you imagine how big this would be? Look how good we're doing now. Get your money in now. And then once the money's come in, they kind of think they've reached their peak. Things have been sold off. People have left the business. Weird things are going on. I think that, you know, there could be an investigation into this at some point in the future. You know, I could be wrong, but, you know, none of it makes sense, even to me. And I'm not the smartest person in the world by a long shot, but it's never really had legs, in my opinion, in the first place, really. So, I mean, at the beginning, it had a chance. There was lockdowns. They were offering a service that others weren't, but their unique selling point, um, that USP of we'll deliver to you, it's contact free, you can do everything online, was too easy to replicate by everyone else. As I said before, I can do it. A lot of people have said in previous videos that I'm bitter, <laughs> that I'm a bitter used car salesman and I was threatened, etc. Um, which, I mean, it's just, as I've probably said before, it's not the case because I don't really sell the stuff that Kazoo does um, so we were never going to be in the same marketplace. I don't think they were going to start selling 10 to 15 year old cars. You know, they want to sell two or three year old cars. It's a completely different thing. That's regardless, really. You know, even if they have insulted the used car market, I got pretty tough skin. You must have seen my comment section. I get abuse all the time. I got thick skin. I don't really care. It's more the fact that, you know, they've built this up. They've taken people's money. People are losing loads of money. They've given people jobs. I've seen it firsthand, paying people really good salaries for jobs with the promise of loads of rewards and whatever and they've given them and then it's all just going to get snatched away again they've let people adapt to a lifestyle with the money you know and they haven't really lived up to their responsibilities and making sure that actually it's a long-term sustainable thing my business is immeasurably smaller but the most important thing to me is that my staff get paid and are respected and stay in a job you know um, there have been times where I don't take a wage, but I would never allow that to happen to my staff. That's number one thing, but it's clearly, you know, just not the case here. It's just a bit, it all just seems a bit reckless. It all just seems a bit fake. It, all, it just, just doesn't add up, does it? Everything's been done really weird. And whether it's because they think they're really clever or it's because they're incredibly dodgy, uh, I don't know. Let me know what you think is going to happen with Kazoo. Uh, are they going to go, you know, quietly into the night, into administration, or is there going to be some other kind of shock announcement? Do you think someone's going to come in and make some kind of investment? Do you think someone will buy them out, maybe? That's where I thought they were going, actually, was trying to get the business to a place where Auto Trader might want to buy them out to have a bigger market hold. Um, but, yeah, I really don't know, but I can't see it going anywhere. Uh, I'll leave it there. I'm going to go and try and get uh, my short position set up against Kazoo so I can try and make some money out of their demise at least. And I will keep an eye on the news and keep you updated if I see anything interesting.
Thanks so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. I'm giving away a watch, a £2,000 tag for your watch. As soon as we reach 75,000 subscribers, I'm going to pick someone at random to get given that. It's an absolutely incredible watch. It's gorgeous. So you may as well get involved. I'm trying to give you something back for subscribing. It helps me out. I'm trying to give you a little reward as well. And if you haven't seen already my new raffle website, feelgoodcompetitions.com, where we raffle off things like cars, watches, cash, and we give a donation to a charity or cause as well. All the information there, go and check that out. Links in the description. Get involved. You never know, you might win yourself a nice car or a nice chunk of cash. Thanks again for watching. See you next time.